everybody y'all this is red wolf i'm out here in the woods and today i'm going to be doing a review on a condor knife and tool barong machete now i can't tell you all the fancy steel specs on it i think it's 1075 carbon it's got an epoxy coat on it and uh it's got a real crappy handle i'm gonna go over here to my testing log and we'll do some cutting video and kind of work it up from there first thing i want to say is this is you can pan up here and get the rest of this this is part of a tree that a whole bunch of other tree fall down on it so it ain't really hurting nothing by chopping on it and all the rest of these woods i'm gonna be chopping on um we got permission to cut down the owner of the property wants them gone so we're doing it now uh, i'm gonna get through the first of my complaints before i show you what this thing's good at i was trying to make a bow and it, it sells really good through this bark. And I'm over here like this pushing it because of the YouTube the camera angle. But once you get down here and try and start taking wood off, it don't come off with a flip. This is actually some of the best I've had it work so far. See just those little chunks. See now this is my buddy's knife. Got a little bit straight of an edge on it. Even like this. Normally it does a little bit better than that. Wish I brought one of my other ones out. You can see it really easy right there though how much better that's doing. So we get another shot, same spot. You ready? here I'm kind of working the uh, edge has given me a lot of trouble biting and the handle you can see right there it's rounded pretty well except for this last little bit and sometimes with the shape of the blade what happens is I go to hit it right here and the handle rolls so even when I can get a decent bite the moment it hits some resistance, it flips. I'm going to do a little bit of chopping right here. i got a tree in the way. I'm going to try and work around. But uh, I've had a lot of problem with it kicking. It'll hit and kick. i got this lanyard on here right now so this thing don't smack out and hurt somebody. Now, I will say, when chopping green wood, it takes some really respectable chunks out. close up you can see just a little bit right there and I haven't had any trouble but if you get a see if I make one of these work if you want to step back a little bit right here when you get a try and hit at this angle it would work right now a lot <laughs> see that I think I finally just got a good angle on the handle. You don't have, but a lot of times I hit right there, and it did happen once up here. The hitting it kicks. And I had to add this because I've been going out here, had it hit right here. You see, just like that, it'll skip, and I've had it do that and pop out here. And this one here was a little bit higher up to catch it. And it flung back and nearly, you know, crippled me pretty bad. Um, the thing I say is, you see right here blades real rounded and right here it flattens out for normal bushcraft type stuff you know you can get particularly this finger chore right here is here just for you to use this bottom little bit um, you know I'd say it's probably like a good pocket knife I mean it's nothing spectacular but it's nothing bad but you see what it starts that edge, I'm step back so I don't hit the camera person. Once that edge starts hitting, it just slides, it doesn't bite, and it just slides through. And sometimes you'll j think you got something, it'll come through and near about hit you bad right there. Now, I talk about uh, 
making feather sticks or something. You know, it, you know, this isn't even ideal wood for it, but you can kind of make some right here. But if you come up here just that little bit, it loses real fast. It doesn't do too good. Um, you know, I was trying to do this with some smaller, drier stuff. You know, there's a machete technique where you pull up here like this. It does. This is a real good thin edge to work off of. You know, it's doing okay right now. I've had a couple more machetes out here to test it up against. And this really gave me the most trouble. It's really hard to use. you got to hit real specific. But on the basic chopping on green wood, you know, this is basically a Filipino design. Barong is. And, um, it's Filipino design. And, you know, it, it's pretty green out there. And up against green wood, I mean, it just, it sails, it flies. You know, here's a, here's a picture, you know, like stuff like this, like this vine right here. It just, I don't normally. If you even right there, you can see how this is almost getting in. It's just a really, really dense vine. You see how much damage that's doing right there. Let's hit another little lick right there. So we just got a, you know, decent sized sapling here. And um, I've taken some of these down before with two hits from this, talking about how good this is against green wood. I'm going to try and get you another test here. See that twist? Right there? Oh, that split out the sedge. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, they come over here. See it real easy. And it's that handle coming in right here. Handle coming in and rolling. Makes that real straight cut. I'm trimming this up into something useful, you know. I can get my angle right. And it just sails clean through. And we might make us a good shelter video with this one in a few minutes. You know, it's something uh, also talking about it, you know, you see that's fairly thick up there. And it just sails clean through that. And we're going to try that in a second and on some uh, uh, good hardwood, seasoned wood. So we saw how well this thing cut the uh, green wood. Now this is some, uh, you can hear that, some real good seasoned uh, pecan been laying on the ground since November ish out here. I'm gonna try and do trim it down. I'm gonna try and cut on this some if I can. And we'll just go get it us all on camera. See that's even uh, that's even thinner than the other one was. You can see my finger on there real well. It's even thinner than that one I sliced clean through over there without a problem. I'm gonna flip this over right here. I'm gonna strike at these, get that same cut in. You can see just kind of work my way in and see at what thickness this quits cutting on this seasoned stuff. Mm. The handle's rolling again. You can see how that's. And I'm starting here. It's rolling like that and not cutting because of it. Get this one. Mm. Give this 
I mean, that's really, I don't know if I need to say much more about it, do you? I mean, about it. It's kind of wet out here. We are showing about the... See, it hits up there and slides. And making... Feather sticks is real hard on it. Because once it gets there... Once again, that damn handle rolls. I think you can see how that ain't working real well for me. I'm gonna do the old trick up here. Get some of this. to show it's really hard I, but any harder and I feel like I'm gonna kick myself in the face or cut my finger off so you know this is a piece of that seasoned log from out there I found a chunk it's already cut down I don't have permission to cut out of where we was uh, doing the test now the orchard but here's a piece and I figure I do this and get a good cut section say up in here and maybe give you all a sneak freak of a sneak peek on another video I'm planning on doing and we'll just kind of go from there. Ready? We ain't rolled it yet. I mean, I gotta tell you, I like the Condor steel pretty well. It seems to be holding up. I just, I don't like the, the wrong all that much. Another thing y'all can't see up there too well, but that right there hits just right. You start up here. And it's a wrong, so it's kind of got a, a balance somewhere like that. That hand gets wrong. This hits up here. And it's got a little spur. My finger, my pinky hits right on that and rolls off, and it's it's something painful. You can get an idea how that's going to work. You know? For a comparison, it's my Ontario Knife Company D handle machete or something like that. I, Oh, uh, this has been out here being used. It hasn't been sharpened or anything. Let's just get a little comparison here. I mean, that's really all I need to say on that one. Right now I need. A, I'm gonna try and baton. Oh my blade. Too long. I'm gonna try and baton this log we were just chopping on. Cause you know I know it's gonna come up and someone's gonna ask. I need to cut a baton first. So I'm gonna try this up against this uh, stump using it as an anvil. It makes it a little bit easier. If you read my, uh, my review, you'll hear me talk about how I tried to, you see, that ain't biting. I was trying to draw a knife, but it has really good tip control, as you can see right here. And using this method, I did make a usable survival bow, but it ain't pretty. It ain't going to be too long before I'm going to have to replace it because it's going to blow up on me. The back's really bad chipped up. I got a crack running right here. 
here. Dude, I'm getting propped up on the stump here. I'm gonna try and follow this now. Around here, it's usually too damn wet. So you either go cold or you find dry wood. So we don't have to do much batoning. I'm gonna give this old college try. Taking the left a little more edge up there than I thought I did. Working pretty good on this one side, but it ain't want to come through that other one. Let's see if I can get this thing kick the handle out. may have been a little bit too big of a log to try and tackle. Don't worry about another day. Now this is the uh, other half of the stick I batoned off of. I just wanted to give a little comparative thing on here. I thought that might have been a little bit overdone. No damage to the blade. We did split that knot off. Let's see if we can get this back going. This other direction. It's not going to let me do this easy, is it? Well, I guess that's really all we need to know. Ain't much no good at this. Is what it is. Until I can think of something else. It's kind of a mixed bag for me. I definitely can't chop with it without a lanyard. I really don't like the handle. Some of the blade maybe can do good. I mean, it's got a, it's holding a good edge. I'll give it that. It's holding a, at least adequate edge. I can't say it's anything special, but it's holding up a lot better than a lot of other stuff I've had. But, you know, it, it's kind of a mixed bag. You got the really good on Greenwood, fairly middling to crappy on... Uh, season stuff, so we'll just have to see. Um, for now, this is Red Wolf signing off. Keep up the good fight.